Elon Musk has gotten real salty with the 19 year old on Twitter who has been tracking the movements of his private jet. Musk is not pleased with that, attempted to stop it from happening, but he got owned by the 19 year old. This story is super fascinating, especially when it has to do with an impressive 19 year old who has the ability to track a private jet. Now, this all started when Musk asked Jack Sweeney, that's the 19 year old, how much he made off the Twitter accounts, which Sweeney said was no more than $20 a month. Then Elon Musk made his own offer, $5,000 to delete the account and help the billionaire keep crazy people from tracking his location. Sweeney told Musk to add another zero. Any chance to up that to $50,000, Jesus. Wow, $50,000, I like the fact that this guy's playing hardball. Now, let me be clear, he's using publicly available information to track the movement of Elon Musk's jet. And he's actually a big Elon Musk fan, he's not a hater, right? And he's like, maybe we can figure out what kind of business deals he's getting involved in through these, through the movement of his private jet, right? And so Musk said that he would think about Sweeney's counteroffer, then later said, quote, it doesn't feel right to pay to shut this down. And in an interview, apparently Sweeney said, Look, I can't shut this down for $5,000 because I feel a sense of purpose in doing it. I enjoy it too much. Um, I've done a lot of work on this and 5K is not enough, Sweeney said in an interview with Insider. He added that $5,000 wasn't enough to replace, quote, the fun I have in this working on it. And uh, Elon Musk apparently wouldn't play ball. Uh, Later, it was updated that Musk blocked him, blocked Mm. Sweeney on Twitter, like a, you know. Yeah, I've got a slightly surprising. Uh, no, uh, yeah, no. Yeah. So look, I, I'm worried about people's physical safety. So I, I don't love tracking folks and, and seeing where they are. Uh, and I like that the kid made a counter offer, but now it's all of it is too late. Because if even if Musk were to accept an offer now and give him the 50,000 or the kid would take the 5,000 and be irrelevant, they're public records, then the next guy would pop up tracking him until Musk had to pay that guy and the next guy. So it's over, they're gonna track him for the rest of his life. Yeah, I think Musk ended up making the right decision because then you're gonna have to play whack-a-mole with all the various people who are gonna do the same thing, you're right about that. But with that said, I'm gonna counter um, your bad opinion with some evidence. <laughs> okay. Because it's not like the account is like Elon Musk is located at this specific location, this address, this is where you can find him. No, here's an example of what the tweets look like. Took off from Hawthorne, California. US, like it just shows you the general area, not mm-hmm. the, and I don't know if you know this, but there are many people living in Hawthorne, California. It's not like easy to track down where Elon Musk is gonna be specifically. Um, here's another example, landed in Austin, Texas, big city. You're not gonna be able to find yeah. him specifically. Um, and so I'm really impressed with this 19 year old though, because this isn't, look, he's doing this based on publicly available information, but there's actual work involved. And the fact that he was able to do this tracking is pretty pretty impressive. Um, so he uses data from the ADSB transponders present on most aircraft, which slows uh, or shows, I should say, a plane's location in the air in real time as charted by the ADSB exchange. And then there's more to it than that. And so he's created like these bots that track everything, and then he puts it out on, on his Twitter account. Yeah, I wonder who else is tracking Elon Musk and others. Because if it's that easy to track them publicly, mm. uh, foreign governments could track them, uh, maybe business interests could track them for whatever reason. Maybe he's going to make a deal, and then you find out where the, you know, hey, if he flies into Cincinnati, he might be doing a deal with Procter and Gamble because they're in Cincinnati, right? So uh, there's people that are tracking Nancy Pelosi's investments. That makes that there's nothing wrong with that. That has nothing to do with physical location. Right. The theory is she's corrupt, so if she's making a deal or buying something. It's likely to go up. Yep. There's some good, you know, logic to that. What some people track what the big banks are in investing in. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of logic in that. Absolutely. Right? Here, anything that gets close to physical location, I'm going to be a downer on and say. I don't love it, but does the kid have initiative? Yeah, sure. Rock In and roll. fact, Jack Sweeney has already received job offers as a result of his enterprising moves on social media. He got a job offer from Stratos, which is a jet charter. 
uh, a private charter flight company that's based in Orlando, Florida. So hmm, interesting. Okay, well, in that sense, for the initiative, Attaboy, I would have picked a different project. But like I said, I'm being a donor. I'd be super proud if that was my 19 year old. I'd be, yeah, I'd be yeah. super impressed. And then I'd say, wait, wait, make it 25,000. Let's make it a deal and move on.